welcome back to Fred in the Shed. Now on a separate video, you may remember we tested this little Radiodity CB radio. Very impressed with it as it has a noise reduction filter. Now on that video, I said I was a little bit intrigued because on the back of the radio, there is a heat sink, which you don't really need for a four watt radio. So I was just wondering, as this is based on the Anytone radio, I was just wondering if it's possible to mod this radio to extract a little bit more power out of it. Now, as I really like the radio, I don't want to damage it in any way. So if the mod involves any uh, soldering of contact points on the circuit board, anything that is too technical that could damage the radio or anything that is non-reversible, um, I'm not going to go there because I really do like using this radio. But if it is a simple little mod, maybe a jumper connection that we can change on the board, um, then yeah, I'm all for it. So firstly, we're just going to test the radio to see how much power it's putting out in standard form using this little SWR power meter, which I have reviewed before, and uh, Gary's dummy load. So we're currently on the UK FM. We'll go up to channel 20 and then we'll key up the radio. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. So we've got 3.65, 3.67 watts. So just under the legal 4 watt power. I'm going to change it to the Euro block now and on AM channel 20 should be about the same. Very slightly higher, very slightly higher. There is a deviation, of course, when I talk. So let me just stop. So 3.7 watts there. With deviation, if I talk, of course, it swings all over the place. Just seen uh, seven or eight watts. So yeah, quite a bit more powerful on AM with deviation. Just gonna check the FM now on the Euro block. This will be a solid figure. Should be about the same as just very, very slightly higher, just um, 3.84 watts. So that's what you'd expect on a standard 4 watt radio. Okay, going to um, get inside it now, open the radio up and just see if there's an easy mod to just get that little bit extra power out of the radio. Just going to remove the top of the radio, but just by doing this, I've got this awful feeling that I'm probably going to have to go in through the bottom. Seeing as the speaker is on the bottom, there's probably going to be more gap there. Let's uh, have a look. Yeah. <laughs> so not really, uh, not a lot to see there, just the bottom of the circuit board. So I need to flip it round and take off the other side. Okay, this should be better now. Very carefully. Peel back the radio. Not a great deal inside here. Okay, let me um, get the camera on top of the radio and zoom in and we'll see if we can change something. Okay, that's better. So as I suspected, the inside of this radio is pretty much identical to the Anytone version. And there's a couple of things we can do to mod this radio. Firstly, if you look at this white wire here, if we were to slice through this and cut this wire, this will then change the radio into 10 meter mode. We would lose all of the CB frequencies but the radio would then be purely in 10 meter mode and then we could adjust to high power. Now we don't want to do that because we want to maintain the CB frequencies. So there's this very small little jumper here, which you can see. Currently it is shorting pins one and two and we're going to very carefully in a moment move that to pins two and three. Now the only thing I'm worried about is this radio is programmed to have the UK FM Muppet channels. Um, this will put the radio in full export mode. Although we might get some more power, we may lose those UK FM channels, which for me won't work. But we're going to try it anyway. We can always put that back. It's not a permanent uh, mod. And for people that were good with a soldier line, you could al always just 
put a little jumper switch across there and um, connect that somewhere on the back of the radio and you could switch across. But anyway, just for the sake of this video, let me just carefully, with my tweezers, remove this little jumper. And yeah, I do know that I should really be earthing myself. There you go. So that is now jumping numbers, pins numbers two and three. So let's zoom out a little bit, switch on the radio, and let's see what's changed. Right, okay, moment of truth, switching on the radio. Okay, so we're straight away, we're on the uh, Euro channels there. And uh, it's, it's saying D. Yeah, and just the AM and FM band. Let's see if we can go back to the UK FM. So holding down the AM FM button, switching on. Using the mic buttons now. Oh, I was a little bit slow, wasn't I? Let's try again. Doesn't look like that option works anymore. Oh, we have little alpha channels there, so we have the uh, in-between channels. That's quite interesting. Right. So it doesn't look like that I can now change the bands. It looks like the radio is in pure export mode. That's the American weather channels, which we can't get on the UK. So yeah, this probably isn't going to work for me. Mic level, yeah, so that's... Okay, let's just do a power test now. So this is, um, let's go back on to channel 20 on the Euro block. And same power, 3.78 on FM. So if we go into the menu system now, let's see if there is an extra setting. FM deviation, that's a power, there we go. So yeah, this is what I thought. So we now do have a power adjustment here. So we have high and low, no medium by the look of it. Oh, actually, no, that is medium, so that must be uh, medium. Just set that to medium power. That's now set, and let's key up the microphone. And there you go. Just under 8 watts, 7.8 watts on FM, which is quite impressive, isn't it? Let's go back to that. And let's just set that on high. Double bleep. And now let's just see when I count the mic. Wow! <laughs> just look at that. 20 watts. That is quite impressive, isn't it? So just under 20 watts on FM going on to AM. And much lower there. Just just un oh, it does go up with deviation, just around about 8 watts with deviation, swinging up to uh, audio. Audio, audio. Well, it's all over the place, but I did see 15 and 16 watts on deviation on high power. So, yeah, that is why the radio has got that heat sink, um, just under 20 watts on FM. It's quite a nice usable amount of power. Of course, the only problem is I've now lost... I've now lost the UK channels. Yeah, it only tunes up to um, 27.405. So it's fine for the Euro block, but unfortunately hasn't got that on FM. That, that, is a, uh, that, is a real, that is a real shame. And I'll just go just in the menu system again, just to see if there is a way of changing it. So you got the weather, you got the uh, weather alert channels now coming on. RF gain. Oh, hang on. So hang on. Band D. 
Band E. Oh, it's banded. Oh, I see. So this, yeah, it's gone to like a banded radio, which is very much like a 6900, isn't it? So I wonder how high it will go. J, K, L, N. It's going right up, isn't it? Oh, UK. How about that? Brilliant. Fantastic. Hit that. Come out of that. Okay, UK. So we're, yeah, we are. We're on the UK channels. How about that? Let's go to channel 19. That bleep's annoying. Yeah, 27821. Let's key up. 19 watts on UK. That's quite amazing, isn't it? That's a lot of power for a um, little radio. Let me just um, change that down again. I, I, that's nearly 20 watts. Oh, that's brilliant. Um... Yeah, we'll just go into the menu system again. Oh, we've got some extra options here. That channel name, band, channel name, emergency channel. So we have got some few um, extra options. RF power, let's, let's just knock that down to medium. Okay, so on channel 19, I'm not, I'm not on an antenna, so I'm not blocking anyone. There we go. Just, um, just under the 8 watts on the UK channel 19. Very impressive. So let's have a little look to see what bands we've now got on the radio, now we've modded it. So band A is way down, that's um, 25 eight three five that's that's down to 12 meters i think isn't it so you would have to be a little bit careful with this if it's going to go onto the handbands i'll assume it will go right up onto 10 meters now if it's completely wide so that was band a let's uh, look at band b coming up a little bit higher there yeah 26285 oh. Let me just get my, right, that's band B. Band C, again, a little bit, another little bit higher, 26.735. Band D, which should be the Euro block. Yeah, 27.185. Um, so that's the standard Euro block or the uh, legal channels that we have in the UK for European CB. Let's just go to E, and band E, again a little bit higher, got the alpha channels, let me go to channel 30, yeah, so we're up to 27.775 on band E, I think these are just going to be going higher, aren't they, I wonder if it's got 10 metres, band F, oh there we go, so we're now up into... just up into the 10 meter band now band F band G looks about the same to me H yeah up into the uh, 10 meter band so the radio net will now tune way up into the 10 meter band. So you can have to be a little bit careful if you do this, that you make sure you're in the right band um, so you don't start transmitting talking on 10 meters because you do need a license to do that. And I do not in encourage piracy. Quite an interesting reversible little mod. You are just gonna have to be very careful though to make sure you're in the right band because it will drift below the CB band into the hand band, the 12 meter band, and it will go above that into the 10 meter band. So you just have to be a little bit careful. Obviously, you're going inside the radio. I would imagine that you're going to invalidate your warranty. And then there's the legality side of it. Because with all those extra channels and the power adjustment, it will no longer be compliant for the UK for CB. It's now become a dark side radio. So again, you need to be... Uh, compliant about that uh, but it does work the only thing i think you lose really is the fact that it's not so easy now just to switch to for me switch to the euro channels i have to go into the menus and 
go to band D, but uh, that's not a big thing. And yeah, so for me, I think I'll stick with the 7.8 watts. I mean, I can get speak to most people around my area on four watts, but when there's been a bit, there's a little bit of noise uh, or conditions are bad, having eight watts, you know, you know what I'm like. I go to the dark side, don't I? But having eight watts will be quite useful. So I hope that video is uh, interesting to you if you're considering buying one of these and uh, you may want to mod it up to potentially 20 watts. It's quite a bit for a small radio, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's about it. So there's the thumbs up from Fred in the Shed. Thank you for dropping by. Um, I do appreciate your views. I'm a small channel. Don't get that many views. So everyone I do appreciate. As always, just before you pop off, just take a second, hit me a thumbs up down below there. I really, really would appreciate that. That will help me tremendously. But as always, thank you for dropping in. Um, look after each other for me. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.